So this guy walks into a bar and he gets kicked out for being underage. The guy was me last night. All right, how about this one? What do you get when you put an adorable kid next to a seemingly dead fish? About half a million views on YouTube. <laughs> this video is called Fish Flop, and it's not really hard to figure out why. Okay, hold on. Did somebody put him back in the water? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he hit you in the head. <laughs> fish in the face! Boom! <laughs> oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't be relishing in a child's pain so much, but then again, Internet. And what I think is the funniest yet saddest part about this video is what the kid says right before he gets hit. Did somebody put me back in the water? That's what you get for trying to be nice, kid. Like, I learned the hard way. I don't try to be nice anymore, especially not to women. Uh, excuse me, miss, you got some lint on your boob. I got it. Oh, I was just trying to be a good Samaritan. According to those trusty comments, this fish is a bowfin. Fun fact, bowfin are capable of bimodal respiration, which means that they're able to breathe underwater and in air, and they most likely had a lesbian phase in college. Slaps both ways, if you know what I mean. Oh, so since bowfin can breathe air, this fish was probably fine and was just waiting to smack a kid in the face. Why don't you lean in a little bit closer, because I'm totally dead. Oops, I tricked you. Fish laugh! Luckily, the kid's fine. He just laughs it off. Which is awesome, because if I got slapped with a fish, I'd be crying. I mean, as a kid, I'd be crying. Not now. <laughs> Definitely not now. I This next video's got over 2 million views since March 27th and just makes you smile. Unless you just hate happiness, in which case, I'll see you in the comments. Now, one of these dogs doesn't want to eat alone. Guess which one? Oh. It reminds me of that moment when you want to sit with the popular kids, but you're trying to play it cool. Hey, Polly, remember me from math class? Hi. The best part about this video, it's reversible. If you play it backwards, the dog is actually walking away from his friend and being starved to death. It's a much darker message. Not, not really as cute. Oh, who am I kidding? It's freaking adorable. <laughs> The noises paws make on the floor, it's like he's a tiny tap dancer. Nailed it. <laughs> you can't tell me this isn't one of the cutest things you've ever seen. Yeah, that's right. This is a challenge. Oh no, you did it. Bring it on, trolls. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Just enjoy the adorable videos! <laughs> So you guys like cats and snowmobiles, right? Well, neither of those are in this next video. This last video has got over 9 million views on Facebook and shows off some awesome technology. So this is the scuba car. It drives on land and then goes underwater. And then it, it, that's all? I, <laughs> I guess I was expecting something that could move a little bit faster than a Disneyland ride. The seaweed is always greener. This boat is so fucking slow. Like, where's the speed? Where's the finesse? Where's the roof of the car? You built a car that submerges underwater and you forgot the roof. I'm pretty sure that was on the cover of Common Sense Monthly. And if you're really trying to be like James Bond here, which, don't lie, come on, you are. Look at that suit, you poser. Did you want to keep your electronic gadgets dry? Allow me to get you wet. Oh, shit. So apparently the scuba car was built by a Swiss company called Rinspeed. I'm not surprised the Swiss car didn't do so well, because the only cars I like from Switzerland are made of chocolate. Don't get me wrong, those cars are delicious. I'm just saying, you do you, Switzerland. And by you, I mean chocolate. Do chocolate. I know Switzerland's known for more than just their chocolate. Be still, trolls. Honestly, it's a cool concept, but I can't get over how slow Rin Speed has made this move underwater. You're just lying to us. It's getting passed by pedestrians. Your blinker's on. Get out of the fast lane. How would that thing ever escape a Bond villain? Mr. Bond has entered the harbor. I guess I'll cross and wait for him on the other side. <laughs> okay. He'll be here any second. <laughs> I'm sure he's just stuck in traffic. Did you try calling him? I don't have all day. It's just rude now. I mean, I'm always respectful of his time. Okay, I'm getting bored. Send in the secret weapon! Where is he? Where's the evil slapping fish? What do you mean he got caught? Oh. <laughs> All right, everybody, that is my time. Don't forget to check out full videos. The link are in the description below. Or I kill you! My name is Dr. Badman, and I approve this message. Be still, trolls. Be still. <laughs>
That moment went. That moment went. That moment went. That moment went. Is the uh, giant Godzilla charging upstairs? Is that gonna be an issue sound wise? <laughs> My God. New costume. <laughs> Let's go! <sighs> ah, ah. So excited for this. This is so fun. Oh, this is ridiculous. Finally, a turtleneck that fits. Defender of the universe. Of the interwebs. I have the power. I am the troll hunter. I don't want to impress you guys, but that's loosely based off of a D&D &D character I have. You can't take over the world, I won't disturb you. Oh, that's way wrong. 